the World Rowing Virtual Indoor Sprints is upon us. And in this video, I wanna tell you all about it and how you can maximize your performance during the event. For those new to the channel, I'm Austin from Training Tall and I'm six foot eight. But just because I'm tall, doesn't mean that you can't train tall because training tall is all about getting the tips, tricks, and strategies that take your fitness and health above the average, even if you're short. And the World Rowing Virtual Indoor Sprints is here for 2020, taking place between March 4th and March 8th. And essentially, the race, the sprint, it's a 1,000 meter row. And the objective is simple, row the 1,000 meters as fast as you can. Now, as far as all the specific details go for this event, I'll leave that linked down in the description down below. But just as a general overview, you can compete in this sprints race pretty much from anywhere at any time, whether it's just on your own or if you do it with a group of individuals. All you have to do is log in your result into the Concept2 logbook. So if you wanna get into the official rankings of this, you definitely wanna be doing this row on a Concept2 rowing machine, but there's no reason why you can't practice a good 1,000 meter row on any rowing machine, but Concept2 is specific for this event. And when you submit your result, just like you can with all other Concept2 logbook workout entries, is you can compare where you stand to others of your different age brackets, and whether you're a male, female, lightweight, or heavyweight, you can see where you stack up compared to everyone else, and they're gonna give out some medals for the top three males and females for each category. And then your results are also gonna be displayed in the big results display board, and you'll also get a downloadable certificate showing your completion and participation in the event. So it's a super cool time to get rowing, but let's talk 1,000 meters. How can you maximize your performance during this event, during this 1,000 meter row? I've got three main tips that I hope help you out, and the first tip that I have for you is to choose a pace that you want to hold from start to finish. The most efficient way to sprint out an effort is to hold a continuous pace from start to finish, for the most part. You want to avoid just going as hard as you possibly can for the start because just due to our physiology, your body will burn out and you'll end up finishing a lot slower than you could have if you would have just chose a pace that was sustainable from start to finish. And you may need to practice what kind of pace that will be for you because it's gonna be different for everyone based off of age, experience level, body size and height, etc. But if you can go into the row with a goal in mind, that is gonna help you be the most efficient from start to finish. My second tip for you is to keep your stroke rate relatively high. This is a sprint effort, even though it is a fairly long sprint, I definitely recommend you keep your stroke rate at least 28 strokes per minute. And what's nice about having that stroke rate or higher is that you can work on the breathing technique that can help you from start to finish, which is essentially two breaths per stroke. This is the type of breathing that you see a lot of the top rowing athletes do, and it's essentially where you take an exhale at the start or the catch of the rowing stroke an inhale as you drive back, an exhale at the finish, an inhale on the return, and there's your two breaths per stroke. An exhale at the front and the back end of the rowing stroke. Here's a little demo of what that looks like. But if you're rowing under 28 strokes a minute, it really becomes more challenging to work with this two breaths per stroke rhythm. And with the higher stroke rate too, it's giving you a good balance between your, essentially your power capability and your cardiovascular capability. It gives you a nice balance of both. Some might be even higher working towards the mid or higher 30 strokes per minute, but give yourself at least 28 strokes per minute. And my third tip to help you succeed during this 1,000 meter row is to understand when you're gonna hit the wall and embrace that moment. And what I mean by the wall is essentially that point where your body wants to give in. Like you're done, you're toast, and it's just a very physiological thing that happens when we're going for a sprint that's gonna take you know anywhere between three and six minutes or so. And that point's gonna happen for some maybe around the 300 mark, for others maybe around 250 meters or so, but you're gonna hit the point where you really want to slow down and you have to be like, okay, this is the point, and you have to keep pushing through, trying to keep your stroke rate high, work on that two breaths per stroke, and when you get to that last 120 meters, you need to go and rip on it and really just conceptualize, understand that this is a max effort. And by the end, you want to be toast. You want to be dead. And so it's in those moments of like peak fatigue that you have to hold on 
and power through. And this sprint event that you can do from anywhere, even inside your home, is a perfect opportunity to practice all of this. So guys, I hope that can give you a little insight into the event and some strategies to help you succeed. If you've never participated in any sort of rowing challenge before, there's no better challenge yet than this one because again, you can do it from anywhere. So be sure to check out more details from the link down in the description. I've also got rowing eBooks to help you progress your training as well if you're interested as well as online training with follow along workouts over on my online training platform, Hit Plus. So thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna be participating in the event? I would love to know. Thanks a lot guys, I will see you in the next video.